Today we're taking a closer look at the Tar Amps Base 400. This is the smallest base series amp in the Tar Amps lineup. You can see here they recommend subwoofers, not woofers or anything larger than that. Technical information here rated 214 watts at 4 ohms or 400 watts at 2 ohms. It's not stable down to 1 ohm, 82% efficient, between 8 volts and 16 volts, all that good stuff. And check out the size of this amp. It's really small. It doesn't quite fit in your pocket, but yeah, compared to my big head, it's pretty small. <laughs> These amps are also relatively inexpensive. The normal price is around $80 as shown here on Amazon. I actually picked mine up from the Amazon warehouse for about 56 bucks. And here's the dimensions, about 5.4 inches by about 5.3 inches. And the metric equivalents there. And the height, again, 1.6 inches, very, compact amplifier here's a $20 bill in comparison yeah this amp will fit virtually anywhere let's check out the connections here for the positive negative and the speaker connections and I'll also talk about the spade connector that you need all right so one of the biggest pains of this amp is these terminals here are so small that the standard I <laughs> say that and those actually fit you big dummy you have to have a special size spade terminal to actually fit. This is an 8 gauge and it actually does fit. Very interesting because here's a 12 gauge that I had and this one doesn't fit. So what I had to do is I had to squish down the terminal some and cut off some of the extra on the side to finally make it fit. I had to take the screw out first and then make it uh, and allow it to go down. But yeah, if you get this type, which is more narrow, it actually does fit and you can use 8 gauge. Very cool. And here on the opposite side of the amp, you can see the variable bass boost frequency and the bass boost level, subsonic level, low pass, level adjustment, RCA inputs, and also high inputs. Amazing, 400 watts from an amp this small. Let's we'll see it shake. All right, now we're going to fire up the good old amp dyno. We're going to test out the RMS power output of this amplifier. See how much it really does. 4 ohms, it's rated 214 watts at 13.8. Please notice, voltage is a little high on my test here. So we'll just take that into account. But we easily got that. We got 252, but again, 14.9, our volts were high. Uncertified takes us up to clipping. 277 at 14.85. Dynamic. A little bit less than the uncertified, 273 at 14.95. Now we'll try the two ohm test where it's rated 400 watts at 13.8 volts. Again, we're kind of high here. Certified up to 1% THD. We got 359 at 14.85, but I actually ran it again. And you'll see here, I got 401 at 14.9, so that's kind of odd. But here, uncertified up to clipping, it easily does 400 watts. 447 at 14.77. Again, our volts were about one volt higher than it's rated. Dynamically, 449 at 14.87. So pretty good overall for such a small amp. What do you have to say about that, Rockville Sam? I need more gain on the amp. And here are the results of the Tar Amps Base 400 2 ohm version. You can see here, you can pause this if you'd like. We got about 250 watts at 4 ohms, 400 watts at 2 ohms, and we got a little less at 1.6, so we didn't go any lower than that. So now let's see what's inside this little mini monster amp. First off, we have to take each of the end panels off and the bottom plate will actually come off too and then we see the bottom of the circuit board that's not going to help us so let's take the other end plate off and it wouldn't pull out so then i noticed there were some additional screws here that are holding in some of the transformers on the bottom so actually we had to take that out as well but here is the circuit board little baby amplifier let's check it out here a little closer you can see here at the very bottom here is the audio amplifier chip. I'm not sure what the model is. I think they might even not have it on there. And the power supply transistors are at the top. 
Here are the filtering cap, 16 volt, 4700 microfarad. The rail caps are 1000 microfarad, 63 volts. They're 85 degrees Celsius. Very small, very compact amplifier. Now, let's try it out with some subwoofers and see how it does. Alright guys, there you have the test of the Taramps Base 400 Tiny Fit Anywhere 400 Watt Amp. You can see after the extensive testing, we got about 109 degrees on the heat sink, so not too bad. But yeah, so this amp did its power. Of course, I gave it a little bit more voltage than it asked for, but for the size, it's pretty impressive. But man, I tell you, you guys, you have to hear these amps because to me, with bass, they just something a little different. It just doesn't sound quite right. I mean, I know it puts out its power, but the quality of the bass to me is just not there. And you know, I'm gonna tell you guys what I think. I was not paid, and I never am paid by anybody to do any kind of review, because I do these reviews for you guys. So I'm gonna tell you what I think, and I'll be real about it, for real, that's how it is. So anyway, that's what Big D thinks. Stick around as always for more good content. Till next time, Big D, you know where I'm at. I'm out of here. What do you want me to talk about? Talk about your new bike. Say, this is my new bike. Okay. This is my new bike. All right, now, tell me what kind of bike it is. A Haro. Haro what? FST. FST. Well, point out some of the things you like. These. It's got 48 spokes. It's got 48 spokes. Instead of 36. Right, and the brakes lock. The brakes lock. Unlock.